One of the great things about children is their tremendous energy. But as you know, there are many children who have energy above and beyond what's considered normal. They're difficult to hold down. Some of them can't sleep. Others can't sit still in a classroom. These children are often labeled hyperactive. Hyperactive literally means overactive. The most common treatment for the condition is drugs. But now another method of treatment has come along. It says a remedy for hyperactivity can be found in certain foods. For the next few minutes in this story by magazine producer Mary Drain, we're going to look at this new diet approach to treating hyperactive youngsters. The diet is practically untested and loaded with controversy. What does it say? Grade A pasteurized school. Erin Sharp is nine years old, pretty young to be reading food labels, but Erin is not a junior health food freak. She's hyperactive, and she's on a diet that's supposed to keep her calm down. That means any food that has artificial flavors or artificial colors has to go back on the shelf. Erin's diet was devised by a San Francisco allergist, Dr. Ben Feingold of Kaiser Permanente Hospital. He has put a couple hundred hyperactive children on this special diet. No food with artificial colors, nothing with artificial flavors. Dr. Feingold reports dramatic improvement in about half the cases. No one knows how many of these hyperactive children there really are. A few million is the best estimate. But in homes and classrooms around the nation, their numbers are reported growing. They're restless, fidgety, sometimes uncontrollable. They're in perpetual motion. These eight-year-old boys have all the behavior symptoms common to hyperactivity. We asked Dr. Feingold to describe the difficulties some other hyperactives have. Speech can be involved. So some of them are diagnosed with dyslexia. They can't write. They can't draw. They can't read. They can't participate in sport. They're clumsy. They're awkward. They fall over. Then they have cognition and perceptive deficits. They can't learn. They can't understand. They can't grasp. Auditory perceptive difference. Now what's important is this. All these characteristics I've outlined to you, see, they don't occur in every child. See, every child has its own pattern, its own mosaic of these characteristics. These boys are not on any special diet. Normally, they're on Ritalin. It's a drug given to hyperactives to settle them down. But they haven't had any Ritalin for 24 hours, so they can't sit still today. You may be thinking that's just the way kids act sometimes. Hyperactive children act this way all the time. Hundreds of thousands of children like this take Ritalin or Dexedrine or other drugs day after day for years. They're the same pills teenagers and adults use as uppers. No one knows why they have a calming...